something ago I got myself uh, ATEM Mini Pro and it turned out it's not compatible with any of my monitors and there is no fix there's another video about that story and the temporary fix was just root the HDMI out through the Atomos but it's quite expensive workaround and lately I got myself HDMI extender for a totally different purpose because we want to monitor our kids when they play in the pool to basically put the camera in front of the pool and monitor that via remote monitor either Atomos or TV in the living room and this extender got a nice feature that it got local loop for HDMI out so basically you plug this in to the camera via HDMI in you have to power this thing up there is a small power supply for this which is a con but then you can transmit via UTP cable up to 50 meters or something like 60 meters maybe and then you can watch what's in front of the camera somewhere else so it works for that purpose but then I get an idea maybe it will work when I connect uh, my monitor via this thing to ATEM Mini and spoiler alert it works this thing is 30 euros on Amazon so not that expensive as Atomos the, I think the only con of this is that it needs external power supply so another cable and a messy thing on a desk but at least it works and you really don't need this unit for for item to work but then you can also connect two monitors and have remote monitoring of, of the program which is nice for example you can have a, a client watching the program so much more flexibility with this thing and the Atomos works with both ends so via HDMI loop on the transmitter and and via receiver via HDMI out here and basically that's it I'm gonna connect it to prove, prove the thing and the, the receiver don't have a power supply because it's connected via power over the Ethernet so one less cable and let's connect this thing to the ATEM at the moment the monitor is connected to ATEM directly and there is a information no cable connected any mode chosen doesn't work so it doesn't matter which mode it's on at the moment it's uh, 24p and this thing is only for HD up to 60p it works via this uh, local loop uh, every time which every frame rate but for the remote site to work if you want 60p that should be really good uh, cable Uh, and there is a, also a cube button on the receiving end I'm not sure what this cube button is for because uh, I got this used in very good condition from Amazon and it lacks manual so if anyone knows let me know in the comments but let me connect this thing I have to connect the power supply when it's on and you don't see anything on the monitor now disconnect this from Atom connect the monitor to HDMI out now I have to connect the ATEM to this device now it is connected and you got HDMI out from ATEM which worked correctly this little device is like one tenth or one fifteenth of the price of the ATEM itself so not that expensive but still you have to buy an external device to make your item work with some of the monitors and I have a lot of other channels and their monitors too so it's not a separate story of mine displays uh, some people got problems with the TV some people got problems with monitors so it's not a separate case Blackmagic Design is aware of this but probably it's some kind of hardware issue they, they cannot address it with uh, firmware updates so maybe someday but anyway there is also 
additional functionality of this to split the signal uh, and send it far away for someone to watch your footage. So not a bad uh, product. I hope that's helpful. Let me know in the comments. Cheers, mate.